Nigel, the disappointment of the Swindon game still raw, but you're back here at Shirecliffe and uh, working on next season's plans. Yeah, the sort of talks, discussions begin in earnest with the staff about our targets for next season as we look to to add to the, the team that came so close uh, that we can really mount a, a serious promotion challenge next season again. Is the Swindon game it's still particularly raw though, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. That'll take some time. I think if you played off the park and you deserve to lose, you hold your hands up and you say that. Uh, but we thought we did enough over the two games uh, to win, and especially in the home leg, having played so well, uh, things just going against us. Uh, certainly decisions and injuries to lose Stefan Skugel, but by far the biggest, biggest blow was losing John Brayford. Yeah. Uh, it's no coincidence that he played the first half, we didn't concede against Swindon, and then for the next game and a half we did when, without him in the team. You've spoken to Bray this week, how is he? Yeah, he's he's not too bad, he was extremely low, uh, you know, after the, as everybody was, but uh, when you're on crutches and your knees in a brace, but I think, but strangely enough, when you're faced with possibly 12 months out and then you're told it's six months, uh, it gives you a lift and two or three months of that is, is the off-season anyway, um, we're just hoping, uh, we're not going to rush him back, but we're hoping he'll be in a blade shirt sometime in November.